is what it isn't Looking for a better way to get up out of bed Instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hippie Get up, first shot, come strut walking Little bit of humble, a little bit of cautious Somewhere between like Rocky and Cosby's for the game Nope, nope, y'all can't copy up Glad, moonwalking, and this here is our party My posse's been on Broadway And we did it all way, chrome music I shed my skin and put my bones into everything I record to it And yeah, I'm on Let that stage light go and shine on down Barker, soup game, and Plinko in my style Money, stay on my craft and stick around for those pounds But I do that to pass the torch and put on for my town Trust me, on my I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T shit hustling Chasing dreams since I was 14 with the four-track bussin' Halfway across that city with the back, 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 back crush it. Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing We give that to the people, spread it across the country Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing We give it to the people, spread it across the country Can we go back? This is the moment Tonight is the night, we'll fight till it's over So we put our hands up like the ceiling can hold us Like the ceiling can hold us Can we go back? This is the moment
Damn, bend my knees every time the beat drop. Oh, I think they like, yeah, oh, I think they like, yeah, oh, I think they like, yeah, oh, I think they like, oh, I think they, think they like, yeah, oh, I think they like, yeah, oh, like, yeah. Damn, bend my knees every time the beat so, so drop. Pippin make the beat drop with a laptop. I make them do it just as soon as the beat drop. Yeah. One, two, yeah. three. Is yeah. it as plain to see? Yeah. I go by the name of Jermaine yeah. Dupree. Yeah. Man fresh in the place yeah. to be And uh, oh, yeah. oh, I think they like me when they heard me on the other one So it's only right that I hit you with a Oh, I think they like me when they heard me on the other one So it's only right that I hit you with another one Hi, I'm Nia Pierce. I'm Lauren Broussard. And we are the officers of Como High's National Honor Society. As members of NHS, our job is to heighten school spirit and raise awareness for our organization's core values, which are service, character, leadership, and scholarship. We aim to make not only our school a better place, but our community as well. This week, NHS wishes the Spartan football team the best of luck in our homecoming game against Nish. Go Spartans! Hi, and welcome to another exciting episode of Prehistoric Animal Adventures. I'm your host, Antonian Dolodon, and boy, do we have an exciting show for you today. A great question came in from one of our listeners that we explore, and boy, will it inspire you. It's going to be a great episode, so let's get to it. Jack Franks from Lafayette, Louisiana wrote in to ask, Dear PAA, my friends and I were watching the movie 300, and one of them commented that the first Spartans were dinosaurs. Is this true? Love your show. Sincerely, Jack Franks. Well, Jack, some dinosaurs could in fact be considered prehistoric Spartans. Although not every dinosaur, both the T-Rex and Velociraptor could be considered prehistoric Spartans in their lifestyles and fighting styles. We're lucky enough to have the technology to even show a little experiment to prove this theory. We've been able to transport both a T-Rex and Velociraptor through time into a confined space in your area and even mix them with a honeybee keeper from New Iberia. Let's see what happens. Ah! 
see Jack, here we see the honeybee guy running from the mighty Spartan Dino. He understands that actually fighting these prehistoric Spartans is futile, just like most other dinosaurs in their time. You will also see the two Spartans are relentless in their pursuit. Boy, he sure is running scared, isn't he, Jack? That's funny right there! Unfortunately, the FCC will not allow us to show you what happens next, so we're hoping that this picture can give you an idea of what's happening right now. It's not pretty, Jack. Have you ever seen a honeybee keeper ripped in half? Well, Jack, there you go. We hope we've answered your question and you enjoyed it as much as we did. We hope that you can join us here again on the PAA when next time we get asked, is it true that a Triceratops enjoys only third symphonies from any composer be because they only understand the number three? Wait, really? Wait, that, that was a question? What? Well, well, whatever. I'm Antonian Dolodon, and we'll see you next time on the PAA.